What's up YouTube TFZ1313 here. Today I just got my homemade solar dryer that runs off 12 volts. Alright, so here's my dryer. It's not finished yet. I still have a lot to do to it, but it's a work in progress. Um, it does work at the time being. I just don't really have a door. And I really want to change the whole thing of how it's made. This was just a concept to see if it works. Um, it's doing pretty good. I would like to get the heating element a little bit hotter. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. But other than that, uh, the whole concept works. So I do want to rebuild this, make it a little bit better. First of all, I want to get rid of this plastic bucket because plastic does not conduct heat at all. So I want to get a metal one, um, do the same thing, have a little hole in it. Uh, ho little holes to let air flow because you want a lot of air flow. Um, this is another bucket. This is actually stationary. I'll show you how that all works. Um, so everything runs off 12 volts. That was my goal of making a solar power washer and dryer was everything to run off 12 volts. Um, now unfortunately with the washer, I had to use an inverter to get it to go to, uh, to run off 12 volts. But this one is seriously 12 volts. It doesn't need no inverter. The heating element's 12 volts, the motor's 12 volts, um, I got computer fans are 12 volts, so everything's 12 volts, which is nice, um, it's more energy efficient. <clears throat> now I wanted this, uh, for when it's raining out or something and I can't hang my clothes up, I'll be able to, uh, put them in here. You can't fit a lot, but, um, as you can tell by my washer, you can't fit a lot in that either. So I think it's a good thing. Um, it's a good size. You know, it, it's not your normal washer and dryer at all. As you can tell, because this looks nothing like a washer or a dryer. I'm sorry. But let me get into how this works. And I'll just show you everything. I will right, we'll start from this side. So the frame is ob obviously a 2x4. Uh, as you can tell, this is just a motor. That I got out of some electronic. I don't know where. It's a geared motor. So it's really strong actually. Um, I just made a little mount for it. And then on this side. I don't know if you can tell. Nope. No, yep. I just got like a little screw in there. And that goes through into the shaft. And that spins the whole thing. Um, I got some way big bearings. I mean they're a little bit overkill. But it's what I had. And it actually worked perfect. Um, so I got one dowel that goes straight through, through here, through there, comes out the other side, and through here. Alright, so this is my, um, my dryer section. Now, I will have a little door right here. Uh, it just opens and closes. I'll have a little latch. Um, and as you tell inside, um... I'm actually going to put a screen in there so that will block the clothes. This is where the heat comes from. Now this is my little heating chamber. Not very safe, I know, but still a concept. Um, these are two DC uh, computer fans. Those blow air into the heating chamber. And let me show you my heating, uh, my heating element. It's a ceramic one. It's 12 volts. So there it is. Alright. So I got a little meter here. Let's actually turn on the uh, motor real quick. Let me show you that. So as you can tell, this does not spin with it. And it's really strong. Um, it's basically very hard to stop that motor. Um, and as you tell, you, everything's stationary in here. Alright, so I'm going to turn it on. Now, the things with it, I don't know if you guys know about ceramic heater. The things with it is, it's really, it draws a really high amp draw at first. And then it slowly goes down. Um, I think this, it, well, actually, we'll see what it does. So we're getting up there 12 amps, use 150 watts, 170, 50 amps, 
And then once it heats up, once it gets to a certain temperature, it'll start to draw uh, draw less amperage. So let's see it and see what it does. It's going up to 200 watts right now. 209 watts. 18 amps. All right, it's about, oh, it's going back down now. So it levels off at a certain temperature. We'll let it go and we'll see how far it gets to. Alright, so I let it run for about 3-4 minutes now. And it's a steady 11 amps at 129-130 watts. So that's about what it runs at. So, um, 11 amps ain't bad for a dryer. Uh, you know, for 12 volts anyways. I mean, you get such as such low voltage or you get higher amps. Let's see how hot it is. Um, I just turned off the motor so I could stick my hand in there. I got a little temperature gauge here. Let's see how hot we're getting. Hundred and sixty one degrees. So it's not as hot as I wanted. I wanted it around two hundred. But of course, you know, you got plastic this, plastic that. You don't want two hundred degrees. Um and <laughs> It melt the plastic, but this is like I said a concept. I'm still working on it um, This is just uh, just to start off to see if the concept works um, So That's my dryer my my solar dryer that runs off 12 volts um, All right 